I, th I also think that he he rather give other people than spend it on him sometimes. Because I just read the interview with Janet, and she was telling a story that Michael would wear his shoes till there were holes in them. Yeah. And I was like, wow. He he was um, someone who the world didn't understand, and the world meaning the media, be, mm. because they can't believe that that um, God has put someone on this earth. He uses us all, and there's a reason for everything, and I feel that he did a lot of good deeds and took a lot of good deeds with him, but I think his work is just beginning. Now that he's with God, I think he's gonna use him to influence and to bring an awareness to exactly the messages that he was putting out there with his songs. Let's face it, he was talking about the rainforest way back in the 80s, yeah. and way before Al Gore with the global warming and all, all, all these things. And I'm very proud because um, we all come from the same tree and we started at Motown. And, but my mother and father, it was most important to instill the right morals and principles in us to become good human beings. And to this day, that's all we can do. Mm -hmm. And that's all we can take with us when our time is up. One, one thing is, um, how do you, when, Will You Be There is like my favorite Michael Jackson. That's the one I always cry to. Mm -hmm. And do you think, I don't know, this is very weird asking, but do you think somehow he's up there and saying, will you be there and probably talking to his fans? I mean, he, the magic that he yes. had with his fans. I, yes. That, I, I get goosebumps uh, just talking about it. I feel that. I feel that. And listen, God is very much alive. And when you use his time properly to serve others, you're rewarded. And his presence is everywhere and it will never die. And that's the purpose of this tribute, is to show the, the human being, the side of, of him, the humanitarian side of him, and to give the fans closure. That was the whole purpose of this tribute, to give them closure. They weren't allowed to come to the memorial because of just too many pe people, and the LA County Police Department couldn't secure the whole area, so we felt that we would do something in Europe where the fans can, can be a part of. Can I ask one last question? Yeah. Uh, I, was, I, was, I was prepared for like... One last question. Yeah. I, I want to ask, because I really care about, and I was I was the one here on television who said Paris was not put pushed in front of that microphone, because she talked so sincere, and, no. and it was so nice. But how are those kids holding up? I mean, they're, they're so holding brave. up. And, and just to touch more about what you said, when his daughter got up there and said, my daddy is the most wonderful daddy you can ever imagine that anyone could have, that told the world, this man is a human being. He's a father. He doesn't deserve to be called wacko jacko. He doesn't deserve to be called any of these names. And um, um, he spent his time, he spent the time that God gave him on this earth well. He took a lot of great deeds with him, and I know he's in safe keepings with God because of what he did on this earth. And uh, I'm very proud, and I'm going to continue to keep his legacy alive the best way I, I know how. They're so wonderful kids, and they're so, they're so smart kids, and yeah. just not at all what Oh, we, no, they've been told. They're very educated. He was very concerned about them being respectful. When they would come around me, if they would act up, he said, I'm not giving, I'm not letting you all have certain things that you want because you, were, you weren't being on your best behavior to Uncle Jermaine. Mm. And, 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 and things like that. And I said, well, he really wanted them to grow up to be right. And that's what it was all about. It wasn't about the materialism. Listen, if they needed to go to a theme park, they had a theme park. They needed to ride a train, they had a train. They had all of this at Neverland. But he didn't want them to be spoiled by that. He wanted them to grow up to be great human beings and to grow up to be strong and straight. That was his whole purpose for them. He's done good. Thank you. He's done very good. I'm sorry. I wish I had more time with you. Can I, can I give you a hug? Thank you. Thank you. I'm, I'm Thank missing you. him already. I'm missing me. Too. I, I'm, I'm, yeah. I shouldn't have been this. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. I feel so sad. Yeah. It's tough. It's very tough. Have you, have you, have you seen the film yet? 
No, I haven't, but I hear it is really, really, it was his last moment. Done with taste and everything? Yeah. Good. Thank you. Good. Thank you. Take care. See you. I'm sorry. I'm a, God, I'm a journalist. I shouldn't be crying. But it's been hard. It's been hard for me defending Michael. The, the past two and a half months, it's been like, I got a lot of, like you heard, she's a fan, and then they've been writing me that, like, I was like, because <laughs> they were, you know, got their support too, because I was saying good things, and like, so, let, please. Okay. God. I don't think you see Metal Hour crying. No. <laughs> You can't.